to another Kanmo's video and great that you're watching. This video is all about making a photo album. Yes, um, we spoke with the company, um, with the Dutch company at photoalbum.nl um, about making a photo album and they are allowing us to make one photo album. And of course we're gonna make a very nice themed photo album uh, it will be about our comic cons that we visited last year so that really makes it nice for you guys to see it as well because you know we all have great memories of, of all those comic cons and yeah I, I, I do have these photo up photos but then again we make so much more photos and there are so much more moments that I want to remember that I um, that I love making a photo book out of it I am uh, I'm a big fan of photo books. I always make one um, after my holiday and then I try to make a highlights for over the year. It's just nice to sit once in a while, take a look at it. And yeah, definitely because at Comic-Con we have such amazing moments, always. It is so nice to make one with with everything we loved last year because of course I, I want to remember that uh, at any moment. So we're gonna start. Uh, I've never made a photo book uh, via uh, this uh, this website, so it's completely new to me. Um, and I will show you a bit of my process in making that photo book. So I'm basically gonna make the photo book, um, add my memories of all the Comic Cons last year, and also tell you how I'm experiencing making the photo book. So. You can just check it out with me and um, see what you what you think of it. We're allowed to make one hardcover uh, photo book. But of course this complete um, video review my article that I will write, everything is just based on our own opinion and how we like it as a way to make a, a, a permanent memory of your uh, of a Comic Con year. So I'm excited to start. Um, I received a YouTube link with some of the some videos they made with the tutorials and to show what the possibilities are so I've already watched those and I have to admit that I really really liked what I saw there because usually when I make a photo book um, I just have like these photos and I just blop blop I put them in a photo book add some nice colors a background and that's basically it I try to vary with the with the amount of pictures and with the placement of the pictures, but that's about it. And I saw that for this, you can also shape the pictures very easily and also add shadows and stuff and um, lists around it, frames, which is a really, really nice idea because I like a creative book. I like to, to that the book represents what we are as well. So I'm very curious if it'll be as easy as it looked for me to make it because I'm not very handy with uh, altering photos. I, I don't work with Photoshop or whatever. So I'm, I'm just very inexperienced and I will just start with their software and check it out. Yesterday I downloaded it, today I will install it and then take you with me on the journey of making the photo book. And of course, in this video I will also show you the results I will tell you how long we waited for the photo book how everything went and yeah I'll, I'll just open it when I receive it in this video as well just so you can see the result and my reaction and everything around it so I'm very thrilled to try it out to see what kind of highlight book I can make and to see how easily I can work with the software because that is something that is important for me like I want to have many options I want to make something that I like and that represents my feeling for for the memories that I made but I also want something that won't cost me like hours and hours to understand and to make basically it always takes a lot of time to make a photo book but that's more because I'm always doubting which picture and and stuff but um, yeah I'd say just watch this video, I'm now gonna stop talking and you'll see me back while I'm making the photo book. Hi, I have installed the software to make the photo book 
So I'm getting started about now and I'm gonna pick the photo book with the hardcover and I'm gonna click on next. Let's see what happens and how we're gonna start. Okay, I have to wait for a minute. It's processing. Um, oh, I can already choose the product. Let's see. I'm gonna pick the XL photo book and then press next again. Okay, I'm gonna give the name. I'm gonna name it Kanmo's and start the project. Okay, it's now opening it. I've just uh, chose my product and now it just says opening and um, yeah, I'll just uh, wait for it to start. Okay, so it took less than a minute and now um, the now I'm, I'm getting, um, getting a message. It says the assistant can help you with making a project. You can turn it off if you don't want to. Do you want to turn on the assistant? Well, I'm gonna do that just to experience how the assistant works and what I can do with it. And it already starts with, let's start. Um, okay, let's see. It already tells me how to add photos, add a folder. Okay, I'm gonna check this out. I'm now thinking I should have prepared a bit more. <laughs> I do have like these folders on my laptop with um, 2017 and then all separate folders of events. But basically I'll have to check which one was the first. Which convention? I'm gonna start looking up the folder. Photos 2017 and then see. Um, March, I think March. I think Dutch Comic Con was the first because um, Begin of Hell was April. And then let's see what Facts was. But Facts is usually after Dutch Comic Con. Um, yes, April as well. So Dutch Comic Con is gonna be the first. And I'm gonna select this folder and see if all my photos are coming in. And they are. So that is awesome. I'm getting started with uh, with this. It's easy to, to load the pictures. I'm gonna do it folder by folder and start with um, Dutch Comic Con because that was the first one. I'm gonna gonna skip the cover for now and I'm gonna start with the album at first I think <laughs> let's see how I can do that oh yes yes it was it was quite easy to find actually okay so my first page oh, I'm gonna check out what to put on there I'm gonna do some thinking and checking what I want to put in there and I'll just update you as soon as I have something and let you know how I did that. as soon as I was working on the photo book and right now I am so here I am again I am currently um, done with uh, Dutch Comic Con and now I am working on facts in the photo book and I must say it, it is it's going quite easy um, I'm, I'm playing around a bit with different styles and there is so much to do you can do so much different things with like frames and um, sizes and shapes but I also don't want it to be like too chaotic, like I'm doing something different on every page. So I'm trying to pick a style for each convention. Um, I'm also filming a bit of the work that I'm doing while I'm working on the photo book, but I'll just put that in the video, but then like fast. Because yeah, they, they will take, <laughs> I will probably be busy with this photo book for a while. So you don't have to see every single thing that I'm, um, that I'm thinking of uh, here. But let me show you a little bit. 
I have to say, um, I have to think about the backgrounds still, so I haven't started on that yet, but I did put in some photos. Let me see, I have to change this first before I show you. <laughs> hey, yes, this looks good. Let me show you. Okay, this is the start of Dutch Comic Con. This is the first page of the book. Here we go. Yes, check. And let me see. The second one is this. So also Dutch Comic Con is like this. And you can see that I used different shapes here. So I used um, different corners and I used round rounds. And then for facts, I chose a little bit of a different style. And you can see that here. Oh, how cute are those Star Wars photos? Look at that. BB-8. Yeah, okay. So I am busy with facts now. I've got another page as well. And it's just so fun to look through the photos. And I think, yeah, it, it, it is very nice. Currently, it is, it is going quite easy, quite fast. It's not hard to get to know all the features. It is easily to be found and not hard to, to change things. The only thing that is a little bit hard for me is to make sure everything is, is aligned the, the same way. Because... Oh wait, it has to load for a moment. That is that I mean that that is a, a bit hard sometimes for me because I can't see that very well, but making the shapes, adding pictures, um, using different styles, putting them in a different order, uh, make sure that the one falls over the other. That's all very, very easy to do, and it's nice to make a creative photo book uh, like that. So I'm gonna work on it a little bit more and come back to you when I'm a little bit further in the photo book. Hi! The moment has arrived and uh, my photo book arrived. So I am very, very curious to open the package. Yes, I already removed the, the strip so I could open it easily. And I have no idea how I'm gonna film this. <laughs> so you can also watch the book. But we'll manage. Let's see. First, I'm gonna put something under my tripod and see. Yes. This is good. This is better. Let's start. Let's open it up. Whoa! This photo book is huge. I know the sizes were on the website, but I do not own a photo book that is this huge. <laughs> this is incredible. Check this out. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, I love how this looks. This is huge. Check out the back. Cosmos color. How cool is that? This is huge. Okay, um, let me see how we can do this because there's no fun in watching, just watching me check out the photo book. Um, let's see if I can move this a little bit. No, that's not working. Okay, I'm just gonna show you <laughs> a little bit. So this is how I started. And this is Dutch Comic Con 2017. This was the first Dutch Comic Con because we went two times. This one was in uh, in spring. I always love like the first Dutch Comic Con in a year because it's like always in the weekend that we um, put the clock one hour further. Yes, and then you know symbolizes a bit of spring and longer light and always makes me really really happy. So this is basically what I made for Dutch Comic Con. You know, here you can see the, the pictures we took, Robin Hood from Once Upon a Time and uh, Lenny Morgan, The Walking Dead. And um, yeah, here are some other shots of Dutch Comic Con and I also everywhere shaped the, the photos. That was really easy to do and I really like that idea. Then it's time for facts. Facts 
The convention in Belgium is also one of my favorites. And yeah, the, the, I love the Star Wars thingies. That is so awesome. And look at here how busy it was. Yeah, lots and lots of people. That's the merchandise hall at Facts. Well, let's see here, more Facts, Facts, Facts. I had a lot of Facts photos here, meeting Nathan Fillion. That was epic. That was really, really, really cool. Um, and here, Hodor. More of Nathan Fillion. Um, yeah, you, you can see here uh, with the Ben McKenzie and his wife, uh, both from uh, Gotham. And Ben McKenzie, of course, also from uh, Southland. Also, oh, I love Southland. If you haven't watched it, find it. It's a really, really good series. And then, Weekend of Hell. Weekend of Hell, April. Yes. That is one convention I loved as well. It wasn't really that busy at Weekend of Hell in April, but I did have a really, really good time. And there's so much pictures in there. Okay, this can be a bit much, I can understand, but I wanted to, on some pages, more pictures, on some pages, less. And Weekend of Hell is typically one of the conventions with a lot of guests and I'm making a lot of pictures. So yeah, well, basically this represents a bit on how how we act on the convention. Here you can see see uh, see Tristan looking at some DVDs, and here uh, with Erica Irvin a photo op. She's from uh, American Horror Story Freak Show. Um, here the Freddy Krueger props. We also did an interview with them. You can find it on our website. Here are Captain Spaulding Fright Guys. Um, Yes, yeah, so much. Here, Brian Thompson Liv, uh, was giving him uh, Stroop waffles. Here, with some pancakes. Looks more delicious than they are. Uh, oh, yes. Some nice pictures of the guests. Linnea Quigley, um, Erica Irvin again. You know, the, the, this, he's from um, the trauma movie. Uh, Dr. Gavanger. Toxic Avenger 2, he's holding up here. Oh, I love Toxie. And then Bloody Night Con. Such an epic convention. We went there in Brussels and met so many people of the, um, the Vampire Diaries and the Originals cast. You know what is worst? It was like one of, it was an incredible convention because they were like huge guests to me and I forgot to put in the book in the first uh, sessions, yes. I just ended and then I was like, where's my picture from the Vampire Diaries? And like, oh, I forgot the convention. So that's also the reason that I tried to add some pages and try to shift the, the places that they were. But this is so awesome, Riley Buchel from the originals. She is great. Yeah, she was super, super kind. Oh, and check out, oh, we did so many photo ops. Check this out. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> I put them all in here, but I, I, I loved that I had all these photo ops. But it was not my best day, like for making pictures, really. I mean, okay, I, I am gonna show you. Check out my face here. It's like really, really terrible. I wanted to do a bite pose with Michael Malarkey, but then I came to the idea, ridiculous idea. To look scared because he was gonna bite well i should have looked like pretend scared but i really made a real kind of face which of course looks ridiculous but then again that's how it goes here are also some pictures of the panels yeah, bloody night come was really really great if you're a fan of the vampire diaries and the originals it, it, this is so thrilling and then we also went to Wolfcon, also a specific convention uh, to uh, to a TV series. To uh, let's see, we went to um, that was oh, it's it's about the series Teen Wolf, and it's organized by the Con Factory. And then you can also see some impressions on the panels. It was really, really, really fun. We had such a great weekend. It was a whole weekend in Amsterdam. Liv and I went together for the weekend. And yeah, we, we went an extra day on Friday. We did so many amazing things in Amsterdam as well. The, the lookout, the big swing, it was awesome. And Wolfcon was great as well. Such a 
terrific atmosphere, such kind people, good organization, really loved it. And then, of course, big highlight for me, New York Comic Con. Check this out. And I made a special page. Oh yes. People that know me a little by now know I love Chucky. So check this out. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Yes, I met the guy who plays the kid, you know, in the, in the first Chucky movies. And he also plays a role in the last Chucky movie. Which is really the last one that has been made, that has been released um, last uh, autumn, Cult of Chucky. It, is, it's, it was great. I like everything with Chucky. And then here are some of the panels. Yes, 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 I saw Elijah Wood. And he plays Dirk Gently. And Sons of Anarchy. This is uh, a photo from Sieg from the Mortal Kombat. And the Evil Queen. Yes, New Year Comic Con was awesome. Here are some more impression photos. It's the director of Trauma. Also, of course, then Toxic Avengers. Um, yeah, and it, it was it was great. That is really cool. Um, oh, House of Horrors in Germany. Also a horror convention, which was terrific as well. It was, look at this. See, he's here talking to Tom Savini. And um, this was at the Ghostbuster stand. <laughs> this is with the guy, uh, yeah, Liv always says it came with the frame. But he also played in Children of the Corn, Malachi. That's where I know him from, at least. Liv, I'm sorry, I forgot the movie from It Came with the Frame. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, here's from the cosplay uh, competition. Um, Lou Taylor Pucci from the new Evil Dead movie and a couple of other great, great movies. And here Tom Savini again, um, having drinks in the hotel afterwards. Let's see what the next page is. Oh, the next page is very Dutch Comic Con. I went there together with Liv. We went there with the two of us. Oh, this, this, this waffle was just as delicious as it looks. Definitely. Star Wars again. Always happy to see Star Wars. But of course, we also met some star guests. Oh, wow. Okay, and now just wait. One more page. Hold on. Keep up with me. <laughs> here. Yes, yes, yes. Great, 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 great guest lists. Yes, here again. Once upon a time. Henry. And uh, the Blue Fairy. Um, yeah, Sean Gunn here and here. Um, and Tom Hopper also. Liv did a photo up with him. And uh, we also did a photo up with Henry, but mine is really too bad. It's even worse than the Malarkey photo up. So I, did, <laughs> I didn't put it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is my book. I just wanted to show you what I put in the book and how I made it. As you can see, as you might have noticed, I picked a little bit of... I, I put the same background in everywhere. Um, but it, it chose a different style for every convention, you know? See the style of New York, which had this, this bit of a flurry edges here everywhere. I really, really like that opportunities because every convention just gives me a different feeling and it's nice to be able to express it like that. Now here the the edges for WolfCon. I thought that would fit for wolves. So I did every convention just in its in its own um, way. I, I stuck to the squares, just the regular stuff for Bloody Night Con, which I really just wanted to show our photo ops, which I'm really really fond of. So back to the album. <laughs> I already love it how I can, can can talk about all those memories of all the cons we did in 2017. Oh, and I'm gonna see Liv and Tristan this weekend so I can show them this book as well. Awesome. Okay, so what is my opinion about the book? I love it. I definitely love the size. It is huge. It is definitely an Excel book. And I really, really, really like that. I would love to make another book that is so big. Um, I love the quality. It feels strong. 
it feels nice. I can just uh, just check it out easily, just move the pages. Uh, it feels very solid. The paper is very nice and I love the quality of the pictures. It looks really, really good. So this is definitely something I would do again. Um, I'd suggest uh, go to www.canmos.com for my full written review and everything that I thought from um, the process of picking the size of the book until making the book, downloading the software, um, having contact with the contact um, sender, um, yeah, ordering the book, getting the book, everything. But my final conclusion is that I'm really, really, really happy with this book. I mean, I love going through all these memories again. I love the size. The quality is just awesome. I I love it how, how there's a picture completely here, completely there. There's nowhere um, something else of the company or whatever. It is just completely become my book and exactly as I had imagined it. It just looks like what I had hoped for, but then bigger. <laughs> Um, while making it and I am yeah I'm really really happy with it so I will definitely make another book again I still have to make my New York holiday book and I will I will do it here so I'd say thank you for watching this is quite a long video but I hope you enjoyed my uh, review give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to our channel for more thanks a lot for watching and just say it again this photo album is from headphotoalbum.nl I uh, got the voucher to make one photo album and I really love it so I'll put uh, the URL and everything down in the description so you can check it out if you want. Thanks a lot! <laughs>